Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to give you a very brief introduction to the warble. Now the warble is what is considered a, well, basically an electronic tin whistle, but actually that's a lie. It's a MIDI controller. And what a MIDI controller does is it sends messages from this controller to an app on your smartphone, on your tablet or your computer, and basically tells that app what notes to play, depending on what finger positions or controls you give. So um, basically this is laid out kind of like a tin whistle. It does have buttons on the back that you can use to change the configuration settings. And if you do head over to the Warble website, um, I have got links in the description below. You can obviously buy your own, but also you can see the configuration tool and have a little look through all the different settings that you can set up on here that you can then translate to different kinds of instruments. Now you can set this up as a tin whistle, which is how I have it right now. You can also set this up, I think as a recorder, but definitely as a bagpipe chanter. You can also buy an actual bagpipes sort of bellows bag that comes with it. I do have that, but I have no idea how to play the bagpipes yet. So I need to look at that before I show you guys. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, um, there are actually seven holes along the front. There is one on the back here as well. You only need the six sort of top six holes if you want to play this like a tin whistle. The mouthpiece does come out. This is the vented mouthpiece, so it has a little hole in the front. And you do blow into this to give that air pressure that you usually get on a tin whistle. Now the vented mouthpiece gives a more realistic tin whistle feel because you do need to blow a lot harder to hit that second octave. There's a sensor in the top here. And these are all sensors as well. So when you blow through this and you lift your fingers, you can make the same notes on here as you can on tin whistle. Now on the configuration tool, you can set your whistle key. Um, you can set whether you want vibrato, whether you want it to recognize slides, etc. Um, I haven't got that far with it yet. I've got the basic settings, so it's just set up as a standard tin whistle, but I think I do have slides in there. And I'm actually using an app called Fluid Synth MIDI, and that is on Android and it works great. So as I said, what it does is you uh, give the controls on this little controller and it tells your app or your software what to do. Now this one does record, I think, if you buy the full version, I just have a free download at the moment. But what you can do is you can change the sound that comes out from your app. So for example, the, the basic one here is acoustic piano. So although you're playing a tin whistle, you can make an acoustic piano sound. And again, if you blow harder, you'll hit a second octave. Now this particular app has hundreds of different noises that you can make. Anything you could think of, it is on here. There are even um, pan flute, recorder, piccolo, clarinet, whistle ocarina, ice rain. Yeah, anything you could think of. There is fiddle, there is breath noise. It is so much fun to play with. Now, this particular um, instrument controller has not been designed to replace normal tin whistles, but what it has been designed for is to make practicing super, super easy. Um, basically, what you can do is you can plug your headphones into your device and you can play and practice as much as you like without anyone else hearing it whatsoever. So if you do have neighbors you don't want to disturb, or if you want to take this on a plane with you while you travel, you can play in complete silence and you can practice as much as you like really without disturbing anyone else and that is why this was designed so that we can have fun with practicing and 
it replicates the tin whistle experience pretty well. One thing I will say is it is quite sensitive to um, the amount of breath that you put in. So you can tweak that a little on the configuration settings. As I said, I'm brand new to this, so I don't want to rush into anything, but it's just getting used to that and tweaking your settings and seeing the best that you can get out of it. Now, my favorite sound on this particular app is one called... I can't find it um, because it's a little bit strange. It's called Warm Pad and it takes longer for the sound to get out, but I really like the way you can kind of slur notes together with it. I adore that sound. So yeah, as you can see, it is a very fun little device to have. Now, if you do go to the website, you can check out prices for this and all other accessories and things that you can buy. Um, as soon as I get to know this a little bit more and once I've worked out how to fully use the configuration tool and I've worked out um, how to play the bagpipes and everything else I can do with it, I will get back to you with this. But for now, I just wanted to give you a bit of an introduction. Um, and see if any of you guys would like to have a go of playing this yourselves, because if you do, well, now you know where to find them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell notification down below. Um, I'll see you guys next week for some more awesome tin whistle tunes. Until then, happy whistling. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.